Welcome back to Midday, and of course, uh, we're joined by old friends here today, Colin and Alexander. It's great to have you guys back on the show. Yeah. Yeah, how's summer going for the two of you? It's going really well. It it's is. hot. It <laughs> is hot, and we're looking for yeah. it to cool down. We're just talking about the fact that nobody wants to turn on an oven, but sometimes you, ha sometimes you just yeah. have to. You have to feed the kids. Yeah. Yeah. This recipe, actually, if you wanted to cheat with it, it would be great to do on the barbecue. Mm. So you could actually put it on a stone or on your baking sheet on the side of your barbecue that the element's not turned on and then turn the other side on and bake it and just turn it around a few times so that way you can sort of get away from heating your kitchen. Absolutely, keep it outside. Uh, let's get right into it because uh, we only have about three and a half minutes here for this first segment. Um, so what we're doing today is a tomato basil galette and a galette is kind of like a funky special French pizza. So a little bit um, a little bit more reserved than pizza and a little bit more substantial. You get to really sort of fill it up with your veggies. Nice. Um, so we're using this rosemary focaccia flatbread mix. Um, and basically all I've done is cut open the package, dump it in the bowl, and then I followed the vegan recipe on the back, just added half a cup of water and a quarter cup of olive oil and stirred it up. And we did that about five minutes ago because you want to let your, breast, your bread dough rest for sure. about five minutes. And then, do you want to get your hands mucky, Susan? Sure. Okay, so some. this pan, you can just spread the olive oil out and then dump that bread in the middle. And we're going to press it out until it's about hand size. Okay, I can so do that. So about six inches. Okay. And uh, while uh, Susan's doing that, we're just going to prep some of the toppings. I've just uh, grated some feta, which we're going to sprinkle on at the end. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, what are you doing, Alex? You're cutting some kale. Mm -hmm. I am. And I'm doing my kale with a really tiny sliver slice. So I just stack up a number of leaves and then slice it across in ribbons about as tiny as I can get it. I'm just going to move that for... Kale is like the healthiest thing going. You eat kale and you're going to live to be 200 years old, basically. I think so. I think, you know, it basically gives you the same sort of greeniness as spinach or basil. So this actual galette is kind of like a cross between pizza and kind of a spanakopita mm -hmm. is what you're getting as a, as a finished product. It's got the nice greens and the feta cheese and then the fresh tomatoes. And we just thought it was a great way to use up the bounty that's hanging out in the gardens. Absolutely. Is this hand size? Colin says I'd it's say good. that's hand yep. size. Yep. A little tiny bit bigger, because okay. we want to make it so that we can pull up a crust around the top. And then when you've got that going, Colin's going to top it with some cheese. OK. Yeah. And so we're going to be putting um, some of our pesto garlic spice blend on this as well, too. It smells so good. But I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of cheese mm -hmm. on and then I think a bit of the spice blends will come on next. Is that correct, Alex? Spice blend? Um, yeah, you can put cheese and some spice blend. Mm -hmm. There's some. Give there it a go. really good, generous sprinkle and I will actually give it a good handful of kale at the same time. Healthy, healthy, yeah. guys. Love it. So this is all going to cook down and be a really nice topping, but at the same time, you're getting all this fresh veggies in. That should do it? That should do it. I'm feeling good about that. Probably a tablespoon? More. Yeah, yeah. We're good. exactly. Okay. And then, yeah, a nice heavy sprinkle because that way you're going to taste that pesto, garlic, sort of basil flavor all the mm -hmm. way through. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just um, slicing these tomatoes just in half. So we want to do another little sprinkle of cheese, cheese right? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we're going to arrange a circle of tomatoes kind of towards the middle because we're going to pull that crust up and sort of tuck it around and make more of almost a bowl out of it. Should we do that now? Yeah. Circle of tomatoes. Colin, yeah. help me out here. What are we, we doing? I'll over. let you start. <laughs> make it look like those guys. I know exactly. So, yes, our beautiful 13-year-old daughter, Rhea, who is the master baker in our house. Yes, she is. She baked up these three before we left this morning, mm -hmm. so we would have something to show you. Good for her. She so, is doing well at the baking then and the yeah. cooking. How are we doing for yeah. time? I'm pretty sure we're out of time, guys. Okay. Um, how about we take a commercial break? Of course, we're going to have more to say. Is this a good time to take a break? Totally. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong camera. All right. Um, Madewithlove.ca, of course, you can find out uh, the latest and greatest recipes. They have so many of them. This one is exceptional, I have no doubt, because it smells so good in here. We will be back <laughs> in just a short few minutes. Stay with us.
Welcome back. We are back in the kitchen making up a delicious sort of pizza, but it's more grown up than pizza. I think so. Yeah. More grown up, more healthy, just as delicious. And look at how good that looks. Kale and basil and tomatoes. So with the spicaccia mix, you can just leave it like that and cook it as a nice sort of heavy topping pizza. But what I like to do is kind of a French style. And what you're just gonna do is sort of stick your fingers under the edge and just turn it up. And then what you get is this really nice crispy sort of crust around the top. And you're just gonna push it and squish it. Until it sticks. And turn it until it decides <laughs> it wants to stay in that nice, beautiful, upright fashion. Oh, and, and that is a galette. Right. It's a pizza with kind of a turned up crust, mm -hmm. French style. So we've got this beautiful little Provencal package, and then we pop that in the oven, a 400 degree oven, for about 20 minutes. And those directions are right on the package of the instant bread mix. Mm -hmm. So really simple, really easy. Takes about five minutes prep, and you're ready to go. Nice. And then we come over to these guys that we've actually taken out of the oven, and they are gorgeous. I did two with the tomato and one just with the spinach and feta. So you have a little bit of a variety there. And then we've got some fresh chopped basil that Susan can just maybe give a sprinkle on the top of each of those baked ones. Sure. Mm -hmm. The fresh herbs. So I know it makes all, I was just going to say the same thing. It just makes all the difference, doesn't it? Is it that little fresh feeling? Mm -hmm. Fresh smell. Delicious. Excellent. All right. We have a good solid two more minutes before we have to so hit why the weather. Don't we serve some of this out and have a taste. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. I don't know if we have any plates handy. Uh, this is kind of halfway between what you would do on your hand mm -hmm. and what you would do on a plate. Exactly. So if you're going to finger food it, be delicate. Be careful. Be careful. Delish. We need to cut one more. Okay. Over here. And these guys, I would say one of them is going to serve one to two people. You know, if you serve it with a nice fresh tossed salad and a light sort of vinaigrette, it's a gorgeous meal mm -hmm. and really delicious. And the great thing about the rosemary focaccia is it's all made with locally grown um, BC flowers, wheat and spelt flowers. So it's a great local product. Um, and it's up at your Save On Food Store in the Choose Local section. Mm -hmm. So good, you guys. Really, really good. Tastes very wholesome. Uh, it's delicious. What can I say? That basil is the uh, little magical touch at the end. Yeah, and mm. if you would like to try some today, we will be at Save, mm. Save On Foods in Sahali sampling. Mm -hmm. So this is what we will be sampling. Excellent, mm -hmm. you guys. Thank so you. So come have a taste. Mm -hmm. And we're also doing an Aztec chocolate frosty at the same time. Oh, delicious. So if you want to beat the heat, mm -hmm. come up to Save On Foods and have a taste. Fantastic, you guys. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you and have you on again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Awesome. This is a great one, guys. If you want to uh, get the information, you can certainly go to madewithlove.ca or go and check it out today in person.